We're in Pro Tools. We're going to take a look at adding guitar processing to direct guitars. I've got a DI recorded guitar right here. It's a pretty clean sound, but we want to add a camp, sim or it's a camp. <laughs> an amp simulation to that. So I've got the track sold. It's on a loop. I'm going to go to inserts. Let's check and take a look at what instruments we have. So under harmonic, we can choose sans amp if we wanted to, or we can use 11 free. I'm going to choose 11 free just as a beginning to take a look at for you. So this creates an amp. You can see it as soon as I press play. And so it's quite a distorted sound, but you can adjust any of the parameters here and get a pretty decent cabinet emulation. You can also choose the presets. If I want kind of a crunch sound, it says here's my classic rock. Really noisy sounding amp, either way. So, we've got a couple other options under plugin harmonic. You can also use Sans Amp PSA 1. So, now yeah, let's see what we got. Let's choose a factory preset. Yeah, let's see, whatever. So, this got different modeling in it. It's not bad. You can check those out if you want. I'm going to look for, if I can find it, it would be there, it is effect. I'm going to use Guitar Rig 3. I know you guys want me to look at Guitar Rig 4, but I'm going to look at Guitar Rig 3, this is what we got. So this is a huge plugin. look at this thing. It's kind of a beast. So with Guitar Rig, you have the choice of a whole bunch of components. So let's choose the components. The browser allows you to go through your different sounds. Not only does it allow you to go through your different sounds, but you could also search by um, different types of things. So the sound menu, uh, let's see this uh, bank menu, would show you that you can choose category, guitar amps, artist type sounds. So if I wanted it to sound like a specific artist, then I could choose, you know, Pete can't explain. So these are kind of, uh, you know, Jimmy Wing, uh, Voodoo Jimmy. It's You get the idea that they're based on uh, classic guitar sounds and players. I'm going to choose components. And under components, I have a whole bunch of cabinets that I can choose from. So if I wanted to create my own sound, so I'm just going to delete some of these things by choosing X so that you can see I'm getting rid of some sounds. I've got an input and output and that's it. If I want to um, add a head, I can just grab my head and put it in. There's a sound. Let's hear what it sounds like. I have the ability to control any aspect of this, which is the gain and so on. I can choose a different microphone, whether it's going between a simulated 57 or a simulated 421, and how close the guitar uh, microphone is to the amplifier, so how close the microphone is and how far away it is. Now you get some pretty decent choices over here, and you can also choose a different amp head. So then this says matched head. You can also choose a different cabinet as well. So I'm going to close these and show you a couple of different options here. I'm going to bring in cabinets and mics and then I'm going to add you know why not. Uh, so then here it says cabinets uh, it tells you what it is, mic position and so then this is the AC box initial. It tells you what microphone it is and so on. So then if I bring in the AC box underneath I can choose the different sounds if I want. I can click through the different microphones and uh, it also gives you, you know, the different uh, cabinets and movements. You have lots of parameters that you can control here. So look at it, it says 421 right on it and different types of microphones. So you can really play around with your sound and get a decent sound. Well, let's get rid of all that. Besides your amps, and you can see each of them, like this is an AC Vox this is a Vox AC30. You can see that this is a JCM800 head. You can also see some Fender modules in here. This is also high watt and so on that they have a list of these cabinets. Uh, this is a Fender twin, but you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, they can't actually call the amp simulations what they actually are for some reason. Under distorted, you have a whole bunch of different distorted plugins. So then they, these are like stomp box pedals that you can bring in. There's, some pretty cool things as you go through. They even have a looper of some sort. There's a loop machine, right? So then you could play through the loop and uh, press record, stomp. This is pretty decent. And then some other effects as well. So it's pretty powerful that you build your own. It literally is a guitar rig that you're selecting your amps, your heads, your 
um, distortion pedals, your wah pedals if you wanted. Let's take a look if we got a wah pedal in there somewhere. So we'll probably have the ability here. And each time you select something down below, it tells you what you're selecting. So then there's my Lady Electric. So uh, produces sounds or any subtle flange in your chorusing and so on. So it shows you what it is. And that's how you can create some guitar tones using the different plugins in Pro Tools as well as Native Instruments Guitar Rig.